So the Cloud Forest project is a hugely exciting, um, highly collaborative, multi-year project which aims to deliver the Peaks National Park management plan. RSPB provide the overall project management for the project um, and uh, RSPB is the UK's largest conservation charity but we also support conservation projects globally working with our partners BirdLife International. On island partners include the St Helena Government or SHG, the St Helena National Trust and Connect St Helena. Within SHG, the Environmental Management Division, or EMD, leads on habitat restoration on the peaks, including plant propagation, invasive plant clearance, and planting endemics and native species. So the St Helena National Trust leads on the invertebrate work um, on the project. So that's um, monitoring a list of priority species, getting a better understanding of their ecology so that the work that we do um, better protects them for the future. St Helena National Trust is also leading on the delivery of the uh, education pack. Connect St Helena lead on the water pillar aspects of the project to gain a better understanding of the water cycle on island and to ensure the future of the water supply. SHG are also leading on the socio-economic aspects of the project, which aims to develop the tourism potential for the site and engagement with the community. SHG's Education Department and the St Helena Research Institute are also involved. They are creating resources for schools to incorporate learning about the peaks into the school curriculum and provide research opportunity to develop our understanding of the cloud forest. The same sort of process. A number of other international partners provide support to the amazing work being done on St Helena. So the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew have been working with St Helena and supporting conservation on St Helena for a number of years. Their specific role within this project is providing horticultural advice um, to enable and support plant propagation and also um, supporting the development of the seed bank um, for um, peak species but also other St Helena endemics. Most recently they've also been um, involved in supporting the setup of a micropropagation laboratory um, based at um, the nursery at EMD Scotland. That, that facility will really be a world-class facility enabling um, propagation of the more difficult to, to grow species and in particular working on um, endemic fern species. So the, the team at Kew have been involved in setting that laboratory up and also providing training to Environmental Management Division staff on island. The UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology, working with the University of British Columbia, have been supporting the conservation effort by increasing our understanding of the genetics of the important peaks species. Their work will inform conservation practice in the future. Partners Arctium, directed by Ben Sansom, are working with Connect St Helena to lead the water pillar aspects of the project. Recent fieldwork, match funded through a Darwin Plus project, has seen the setup of water monitoring sites across the island, and geophysics work to better understand where the water goes after rainfall and mist capture on the peaks. Further geophysics work will take place in year two of the project.